Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're going to talk about a very powerful, underrated tool or feature that's a part of your Samsung Galaxy devices that especially your iPhone friends will appreciate. Also, your friends and family that either live in the same household, maybe across the state or across the country, will also appreciate. It's a way that you're able to send the full original large file of either your picture or video to them via a link. And the nice thing about this link is that it expires after 48 hours. Or what you're able to do is maybe you wanted to make any changes, maybe you wanna delete a photo or delete the entire thing. You can actually stop the link before they even open it and they see nothing. So it's really cool, it's a really nice tool and it's called Samsung Link Sharing. Now it is located inside of Quick Share. So let me show you what this looks like and I'm gonna demonstrate every single thing for you. I'm gonna send it over into my pixel that I have so you can see what it looks like when other people receive it. So what you're able to do is let's say that you select multiple things. So I'm doing this one you know, with a bunch of photos. I also have a little bit of a video. Maybe this will also work if you were to have a bunch of documents that you wanna send over via email and they can actually save it as a zip file. But here we go, this is pretty much the normal usage that, that every normal consumer would do. You have a bunch of photos and videos, you hit on this little share button, and through here you wanna go inside of Quick Share. Now through Quick Share you have two options. You can either do copy link, and then really it just creates it. You can send it anytime you want to. Uh, and then, or you have this option here which is called link share using app, which means you, you wanna send it right now, here and now. You basically choose on this option. It's going to put all of those uh, into one uh, special link with only those images and videos that again, if you wanted to, you can retract and get rid of. Um, so you can send it via text message, you know, messenger chats, you can put it through Gmail, pretty much however you would want to. More than likely, most people will just use these two options here, which is messages as well as Gmail. And I don't wanna do it right now, but I do wanna show you where this is sitting. So let's say that you selected all those pictures and videos and you wanna know where they are at, all you'd have to do is go right inside of your settings and find where it says quick share. Now with quick share, just do a simple press and hold and then it's gonna be right inside of here. So link sharing history. So you can see that I've actually done this before and this one down here has expired. So this one was sent over two days ago. It's grayed out, which means it's expired. Uh, if I wanted to, I can actually just delete this from my history. Uh, you can see that the other ones are not able to be deleted from my history. So let's say that I tap on this one and I go to stop sharing. So all stop sharing means that whoever I sent this link to, if they were to click on it right now, they would see nothing. So I basically retracted it. Now if I wanted to, I can delete these. Um, I'm gonna select both of them right here. So let's see, uh, up here, delete, select, select, delete. And so now those ones are now out of the history. So now that those are deleted, now I'm gonna go to this one right here because this is the one that we just got done creating. You can see that uh, I'm able to send it starting on March 20th. It's available until March 22nd. It has four photos, one video. It shows the size and everything. I can copy this link so this way I can send it to whoever I wanna send it to. I can share it via the application which you guys have seen from before. I can share it via a QR code if somebody's sitting right next to me, or I can stop the share, which you just got done seeing. Now, let's say that we go through and I wanna copy this link. So now that it's copied inside of uh, my little clipboard, I'm just gonna go inside of text messages. I'm gonna send it over to my Pixel. So now I'm just gonna send it over to the Pixel so this way you can see exactly what it looks like when somebody else receives it. So I'm gonna tap on this little link right here and I'm gonna hit on send. Now again, remember, if something is in there that maybe I didn't want to send or maybe I sent the wrong quick share link or the link sharing from Samsung, all I'd have to do is go right back inside of there. I can basically stop the sharing and it's retracted. So what's gonna happen is now that they have received it, you're able to tap on that little link. It's gonna take you over into basically a browser. And now you can see the four images, the video, and I can just go through and I can get these ones downloaded to the phone right away. So you can download this as a zip file. So remember, if you're sending maybe a bunch of documents to a business or company or whatever, you're able to get it done this way and they can even save it as a zip if they want to. 
or you just download as individual files, which I'm going to do. Uh, and so now that we have, you can see actually all of them being downloaded. So it looks like two of them are done. The third one is almost done. The video is gonna take just a couple more seconds, uh, but really all I'm gonna do now is head right inside of my files and I'm gonna go to downloads because that's pretty much where I just got these things downloaded. And you can see right now, I just got this photo here and this is the full entire size of the photo. So if you're doing something, uh, you know, and you wanna make sure that they get some really good details, you can get that thing sent off. Same thing with the video. Uh, they, they're able to watch the video as it was, you know, again, recorded on this phone sitting right over here. So again, we just got this one done. The contractor finished our sub basement. I wanted to send them this little comparison of the before and the after. So this way he can give it to any of his upcoming clients, things like that. Uh, and that was kind of where this video idea came from is the fact that he didn't know you were able to get this done. And so I wanted to share it again, and I wanted to go more in depth of exactly, you know, kind of what goes into this whole thing. Now, as you've met, as you've seen from before with this little link, anytime I click on it, uh, I am able to see all of the files. Now, let's say uh, we go back inside this text message and let's say that we go back inside of link share and what will happen if I was to stop sharing? So let's say maybe that uh, I sent it and maybe he didn't receive it just yet and there was a wrong file with it. Again, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go to stop sharing. And now that I've stopped sharing, if he was to come over here and tap on this link, nothing is gonna show, which is super cool to do because maybe there, again, you sent the wrong link, maybe there's a wrong photo. Uh, you're able to go through and make all of those changes. So now the other thing I also wanna show you is what it looks like if you're to send something like this through email, because maybe you wanna send over documents. So we're gonna go inside of the gallery, scroll on down, you know, maybe there is a, a, a few receipts, uh, that we wanted to send on off. So we're gonna go through Home Depot, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so now with this one again, we're gonna go to share. We're gonna go to quick share. We're gonna go straight through uh, maybe the Gmail. So I'm gonna send this one as a Gmail basically to myself. And so now that I just sent it to my own Gmail, all I'm gonna do now again is I'm gonna go right inside of here. And if I was to tap on this little quick share, now I'm gonna see exactly what I just got done sending and they're gonna pop up right here. So then this way, if that business would like to download it as a zip, download it as invisible or individual files, whatever the case, uh, they're able to get it done that way as well too. And the same thing happens uh, if I was to go through, delete any of those pictures or stop sharing, then basically this link is not gonna work again. Uh, it'll work for 48 hours and then it'll kind of disappear. And you can go through some of the settings of the link sharing. So this way, if it does actually expire after 48 hours, it'll be deleted from your, your view history automatically. And anybody who receives any of these links will see that it's only valid for those two days. So again, it's valid until March 22nd because today is March 20th. Uh, again, only 48 hours for them to view. So now going back through the settings and letting you know just a little bit more details, you are able to send up to five gigabytes per day. You can see that today I've sent a little over 800 megabytes. That's just me kind of playing with sending it before this video. And as you go through here, if you wanted to, you can go through and you can start deleting, but you can only delete the things that have expired. So this one right here has been stopped sharing. Uh, I'm going to delete this one. Now let's say that I wanted to go through my settings and have them auto delete. So I'm gonna go right here. So auto delete, I'm gonna do received and sent files. So even if I was to receive files or any of them that I have sent, once they are expired, they will delete automatically from that little list that we just got done seeing. And you can see here that it says with the limit of five gigs. And you also have an option here for use Wi-Fi only if you want to. Uh, this is gonna be just showing your Samsung account. This is my phone name if I wanna change it, make sure people know exactly who it's coming from. So if you notice through your quick share settings, the moment you buy your Samsung phone, if you've never changed the name of your device, you can actually just do it right here. And then you also have the nearby sharing features. So nearby sharing is just if somebody is next to you, you can choose these options here of who you want to view or basically if they were to select the option of nearby share, do you want them to see you automatically? Do you only want maybe your contacts to see that you're next to you? Or do you wanna have anyone who is nearby? So right now, if my wife was to select nearby share, then as of right now, she's not gonna see me. Now in my past screens, you notice that uh, the wife was able to be viewed 
because she has her setting right here set to contacts only. Now, I just want to let you know that nearby share is slightly different than quick share and different than link share. So basically, nearby share just means that you're able to do it and send it to anybody who is nearby. So if I was to bring this on down, scroll on over, this is where you can see nearby share and quick share. Nearby share is just going to find you know, and go through people who's next to you via Bluetooth. They can find you, things like that. Uh, now, I have my nearby share turned off, and then my quick share is turned on. And if I wanted to, I can just simply turn that one off. Uh, and so now that you hit on nobody, it is now turned off. So again, if you're sitting right next to somebody with a Samsung phone, you can do the option of nearby share. It makes it super quick and easy. Same thing with quick share. You can send it via quick share. Very quick. It uses Bluetooth to find them. And it basically also uses Wi-Fi direct to send it over very fast. Other than that, you can just do it as a link. Now you can send this to your friends, family, it doesn't matter what phone they have. You can do it to somebody who has an iPhone. You can do it to somebody's email, whatever the case may be. You saw basically all of the examples that I can show you where you're able to do it as documents. You can do it as photos. You can do it with videos as well, all the way up to five gigs with one link. And they're able to download all of the files individually if they want. They can also through that first screen, they can just tap on it and view it as well. But this was everything that I wanted to share with you because, again, this is very powerful. I think it's an underrated, underused feature. It's one that I think a lot of people would like to use, especially with people who, let's say, have an iPhone. They use iMessage. Uh, honestly, I think Apple is keeping their ecosystem um, to themselves. They can easily simply open it up to RCS. They can just simply just put Google Messages there or open up iMessage because it's basically just like Facebook Messenger. It's just a chat service. Same thing like Google Messages. It's RCS. You don't really have a text limit. You can send large you know, files as text messages, as pictures, as videos. But this is just a way for those disgruntled users of Apple people. You can send them a link. They're able to get the full entire large, full quality, full file size photos, videos with one link that'll last for 48 hours. But uh, they'd simply be able to just download all of them to their phone anyways. So this was all that I wanted to show you. Here's the quick share settings. You can go through, play with it. Again, this is the history, especially if there's ones that you have already created. Because sometimes when you go through your gallery and you create something with a bunch of stuff and you wanted to do this whole, you know, quick share and maybe you copy the link or maybe you select this and then maybe you don't do it and you don't know exactly where it is. It's just simply inside of your quick share settings. But hopefully this has helped you guys out. Also, please remember, you can always retract and take off the stop sharing feature. So this way they will see nothing via that link that they have already had. But if you again, you guys appreciate this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.